while the thought of getting your very first pet snake can be exciting, it can be difficult to make the right choice. Which snake is the best snake? Which snake is the safest snake? Which snake is the best one for beginners? The questions are seemingly endless. In this video, we will do some comparison shopping. The corn snake versus the ball python. We'll take a look at each snake as a pet and discuss some basic facts. We'll talk about what each snake looks like, as this can be very important to some. We'll also talk about their differences when it comes to housing environment, size, diet, safety, etc. Every snake has pros and cons. If you're a beginner, it's always wise to start out on the good foot. Purchasing the wrong snake for you at the wrong time could turn you off completely, thus making future ownership far less likely. So, let's take a closer look. The corn snake versus the ball python. Non-venomous and harmless to humans, corn snakes are typically comfortable around people and rarely ever bite. Catching their prey by means of constriction, the corn snake is unique to the United States. This means they are not found anywhere else on the planet. While corn snakes that are held in captivity can obviously exist in any corner of the globe, the United States is the only spot where you'll find this snake in nature. Woodlands, farmland, and grass and field areas in the southeastern United States are where the majority of corn snakes reside. Corn snakes make for excellent pets, and here's why. They tolerate being held and handled. This is critical, especially if you have a young child in your home. They are easy to care for. Their living enclosure requires fairly low humidity and overall temperature levels. When it comes to care, the less complex the better when discussing the ideal snake for beginners. Corn snakes are inexpensive to purchase and can live for many years. This is obviously a win on both accounts. Corn snakes can reach six feet in length, but this is rare. Corn snakes are typically small, which is another plus for beginners. And finally, corn snakes are gorgeous. They're often seen having multiple color variations or morphs. This adds to the appeal of the snake itself, as you can own several and have no two look alike. This enhances the charm and overall fun factor for owners, especially children. Corn snakes are small in terms of overall body width. Even those that grow to be quite long still remain slender and lightweight. The head of a corn snake is relatively narrow and the scales are smooth. While their natural color is orange, they do have darker reddish and orange patches down the entire length of their body. Corn snakes also have orange eyes. The belly of a corn snake is quite interesting. Black and white checkerboard-esque markings. Certainly quite the contrast compared to that of orange. Thanks to the creative minds of breeders, corn snakes, as briefly noted earlier, can come in several different colors that go against the norm. Albino, blood red, snow, and caramel are just a few of the most popular colors. Non-venomous and harmless to humans, the ball python is heavy body but safe for holding and handling. Native to Africa, Asia, and Australia, ball pythons, as you would assume by the name, kill their prey by means of constriction. Unlike corn snakes, it's rare that you'll ever come across a ball python in the wild. Although they are endemic to locations such as Africa, the ball python you own will likely come from the United States. This is because most are bred in areas that are far removed from their native lands. Ball pythons like it hot and humid. This is important to know for owners as it relates to setting the proper environment for their snake's enclosure. As a fun fact, ball pythons like to climb trees. Although one would likely find them in grasslands in their native environment, they can indeed climb. The ball python can make for a great pet for the following reasons. They are docile. This is good for young and old alike if you are worried about losing your snake while it's being held. It's not uncommon for beginners to fear being unable to control their snake in this regard. These snakes, as we've noted, like it hot and humid. This is easy to achieve with an inexpensive setup. You don't need to break the bank in order to cater to your snake's needs. They are fairly inexpensive to care for as a whole. Ball pythons rarely grow beyond four feet. And finally, their color patterns are almost endless. This is another fun aspect to add to the equation.
nicknamed the Royal Pythons, ball pythons are dark brown with golden tan markings that run across their backs. Complete with dark eyes, almost black, their heads are quite small compared to the rest of their body. Are snakes cute? Can snakes be cute? If so, the ball python could be the winner. With wide cheeks, large eyes, and a round and soft snout, the ball python has a very unique and pleasing appearance. One of the more striking visuals concerning the ball python is a row of pits that run along their lips, almost looking like tiny pockets. These tiny indentations allow them to sense the body heat of their prey. Most pythons, along with copperheads, share this quality. When it comes to colors, pythons arguably win the day. As noted earlier, the color game is almost endless. Banana, butter, albino, ghost, and spider are just a few of the cool colors and names. Now that both players are on the field and you have the basic facts, let's take a closer look at the differences. These differences could be the biggest factors when it comes to your final decision. Let's begin with handling and temperament. Every snake owner wants to be able to hold their snake. Let's be frank. What's the point if you're scared to pick it up? While no snake truly enjoys being handled, some snakes are certainly more enjoyable to us to hold compared to the ones that can pose a serious threat. When it comes to corn snakes and ball pythons, both tolerate being held. Bred in captivity, they are used to human contact and are confident and calm around people. In the terms of the favorite in this category, all signs point to the ball python simply because they are far more docile than corn snakes. The ball python would more or less sit in your hand, while the corn snake can move quite fast at times. Corn snakes are indeed lighter, but the ball python is easier to handle as a whole. While their temperament is about the same, if activity in your hand is crucial to you, the ball python likely has the edge. Let's address the issue of safety. If you own a snake, you will inevitably feel the fangs. It will happen. However, when it comes to corn snakes and ball pythons, both are non-venomous and have very small teeth that won't do a lot of damage. On the max end, you'll find yourself with a small puncture wound that might bleed. Certainly no worse than your run-of-the-mill cat scratch. While this is in no way making light of the situation, we're talking about minimal harm here. This is what you want from a pet snake. With the corn snake and ball python, constriction is a non-issue. Neither are large enough or strong enough to attack you in this fashion. The biggest health and safety risk is that of salmonella. Snakes often carry it on their skin. This is why it's so important that you wash your hands both before and after handling. So, when it comes to safety, you're all but in the clear. Both corn snakes and ball pythons are, quote unquote, even on the scorecard and neither snake poses a major threat. Certainly no more of a threat than that of a common cat or dog in your home. When speaking about the differences between corn snakes and ball pythons, size is where things differ quite considerably. Ball pythons are short. Most males are typically just over three feet at full growth. Most females between four and five and a half feet. Although short in length, they are a bit hefty. Ball pythons can weigh up to five pounds. On the flip side, corn snakes can grow up to six feet in length. By contrast, corn snakes are slim bodied. Even the longest corn snake will typically weigh no more than two pounds. It's really a battle of pounds versus length. What do you want? You decide. When it comes to eating habits, both corn snakes and ball pythons only require a meal once every two weeks if they are full grown adults. A diet of frozen thawed rodents is key. Corn snakes enjoy mice, while ball pythons often require rats due to their size. Generally speaking, ball pythons are picky eaters. It can be difficult at times to get them to consume frozen thawed meals. Corn snakes, by comparison, are much easier to feed.
The cost of caring for a corn snake or ball python goes far beyond purchase price alone. While both of these snakes are relatively inexpensive compared to most, roughly $20 to $50 for a normal non-color morph, the cost of an enclosure, general setup, and heating source must also be factored accordingly. In terms of enclosures, both corn snakes and ball pythons require glass, plastic, or wooden housing units. As it relates to size, your snake's living area must, at the very least, be as long as your snake. However, it's quite wise to make sure the area is at least double just to be on the safe side. Because your snake will grow, you want to at least provide more than enough room for it to enjoy its living space. That factor alone can't be overlooked. Just because you have room to house a snake doesn't mean your snake should be kept in that location. Think of your very own home. You enjoy some walking around room. The same is true for your snake. Allow your pet to have a full environment, if possible, rather than a small enclosure that is only a few feet. Returning to cost and requirements, a water bowl, heated pad, and at least two snake hides are essential. Corn snakes need overhead lighting. A lamp or ceramic heat emitter will do. Corn snakes enjoy basking in the sunlight in their natural environment. Overhead lighting will serve to mimic that environment. Ball pythons do best when their enclosures are heated from below. This is why a heat mat is very important. Once you factor in a thermostat and hygrometer, the overall prices should be relatively the same. Although heat lamps tend to be a bit more expensive compared to other heat sources, the price for caring for either snake is virtually identical. What are the prices? Well, that's where smart shopping and good deals enter the equation. Choose wisely and never pay more than you should. Do some comparison shopping and you'll have exactly what you need at a respectable price. This won't be easy street. There's a lot of responsibility involved when it comes to caring for a snake. It's simply not as easy as providing an enclosure and occasional feeding. If you're looking to choose between a corn snake and a ball python, the needs for care are not complex, but they are indeed essential. Regular cleaning and refilling of water bowls, cleaning of the enclosure, and the removal of feces and urine, replacing of the bedding at least once every 14 days, making sure that the overall temperature and humidity levels are correct, and finally, taking your snake to the vet if any health concerns or questions arise. With everything mentioned, both the corn snake and ball python are even Steven in this regard. The only slight difference is that the ball python requires a higher temperature and humidity level within its enclosure compared to that of the corn snake. However, making sure these numbers are correct always applies, so the care need is the same in terms of a general responsibility. As it relates to key differences, ball pythons are often at risk for developing health issues related to low humidity. In respect to corn snakes, high levels of humid air can cause scale rot. With the exception of those two important differences, most of the other health concerns and ailments are very much the same. These issues include respiratory infection, parasites, mouth rot, stuck shed, this is an issue that occurs when a snake's skin becomes too dry, thus making it difficult to shed. The aforementioned scale rot. And finally, burns. This issue is typically due to heat lamps or heat mats, either malfunctioning or being set too high in terms of actual temperature. Regardless of your choice, corn snakes and ball pythons can fall victim to illness. This is why proper care and regular maintenance of the enclosure is essential. Snakes can live for decades. This is notably true when it comes to living in captive conditions where the environment is tightly controlled. By comparison, the corn snake can live in the wild for an estimated six to eight years. However, once placed in captivity, the age range balloons to 15 to 20 years. Ball pythons can live even longer, roughly 10 years in the wild, but as much as 30 years in a controlled environment. While no one wants to lose their pet at an early age, the fact that your snake, 
corn snake, or ball python can live many, many years only means there is more responsibility on you. Unless you plan on giving your snake away sometime in the future, you must be in it for the long haul. Are you willing to make that seemingly forever commitment? This is a vital question that must be answered before you make your purchase. And on that note, that'll wrap things up for this lengthy and informative video. We hope that all of the subject matter covered will be quite beneficial as it relates to your final decision to purchase a corn snake or ball python. While you really can't go wrong with either choice, it really is the subtle differences that can prove to be the tipping point. You know your home and you know your environment. Is this snake for you only? Will it be a family pet? Are you looking to purchase a snake for your child? How big is your living space? Are you confident there'll be responsible upkeep and care for your snake of choice? These questions are vital to answer and your answers can steer you in a certain direction. Whatever the choice you make, make sure you've covered all of your ground. If you enjoyed this content, we ask that you please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We produce new content on a regular basis, so please subscribe and stay informed. Do you own a corn snake or a ball python? Did you make a choice between the two while comparison shopping? If so, drop me a line in the comment section. I'd love to read about your final selection and what brought you to your final conclusion of ownership. Until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. We wish you all the best with your final purchase decision, and we hope you have a wonderful day.